You know, global warming, that whole thing that's coming to essentially wipe out the entire human race and essentially the world is doing nothing about it. Well, scientists have come up with a really cool idea that's completely unverified. They don't know if it'll actually work. What they d decided to do was see if there's p the possibility of blocking out the sun. That's right, send a bunch of jets or naval cannons, send them to shoot this kind of phosphorus into the atmosphere about 12 miles up to try to partially block out some of the sun's heat because that's easier than doing something about capitalism, the very system which is driving the problem to begin with. So, uh, which metaphor are we going to go with? Are we going to go with uh, the Simpsons and Mr. Burns blocking out the sun in order to jack up the price of electricity to keep it uh, running longer, 24 hours a day? Or can we go with the Animatrix where the, the human beings blocked out the sun in order to stop solar power from being able to give life and energy to the machines that were killing them? Or can we go with the, hell, you know what, why stop there? Let's go with the Futurama metaphor, where they move the planet slightly further away from the sun in order to do something about global warming. Let's, let's just come, let's just use all of these metaphors to do anything but actually tackle the problem. And that is a profit motive system driven, as any system is, to self-preservation that's going to literally kill off the entire human race. Now, exactly, these scientists say there's no actually existing technology or aircraft suitable for adaptation to carry out this plan, but something could be around in another 15 years when we're probably going to be screwed beyond help. But they admit that while this is purely theoretical and they don't know if it'll really work, it's our best option short of actually doing something about the system. Now, aside from that, the company SAI Technologies says that there could be unintended consequences like earthquakes, hurricanes, tsunamis, massive heat waves, and the destruction of agricultural land. In other words, everything that global warming is already doing right now minus killing the polar ice caps. Right. That's a lot like the, you know, abortion medication or the birth control that causes weight gain and uh, nausea, vomiting, all the other things that are usually accompanied by pregnancy. Now, this, there's, what, there, there's, there's another dimension to this. Even if this plan was to work, even if we just said, you know what, go ahead with this crazy plan and let's let's see what we can do. Let's just re, just partially block out the sun. This does nothing to erase the environmental damage that has been done. This does not clean up the oceans. This does not deal with water in a dwindling supply and Nestle deciding that human beings are not entitled to the very thing that which allows life to exist on this planet, that being water. In other words, this really doesn't tackle everything else. This just stops the immediate uh, kill everybody problem. But the other issues that will take longer to kill everybody will still be there. Then this is the kind of short-sightedness of capitalism. So think about this. You, you, you've probably heard the phrase, it's easier to think about the end of the world than it is to envision the end of capitalism. I mean, that, that's, I could not think of a better example of what's going on here right now. It is easier to think about doing something that would, what, temporarily prop up the system that's causing a problem that's going to kill us all, rather than coming up with a solution to the, to the system that's coming to kill us all. It, it blows my mind how they will think up, they will use the most creative scientific ex exploration. They will investigate ideas that are 15 years ahead of our time. They will go to all these links to come up with creative solutions rather than just dealing with the problem. Stop using fossil fuels. It is There is no reason why we need to keep using them. We only use them because we're dependent on them. We are dependent on them because we have allowed capitalism, it's what it was going to do, to completely function off of it. 
Let me give you another, another uh, piece of information that might put this into perspective. Let's say there's a massive global catastrophe and the world's wiped out. And we have to start all over again. We have to go through uh, tribal societies, primitive accumulation, feudalism, and eventually we get back to the Industrial Revolution. We won't be able to do a second Industrial Revolution. We've used about, what, 80-85% of all the fossil fuels on the planet. If we have to go through another uh, industrialization it literally won't be possible because we won't have the fuel to be able to do it. Think about that. That's how much of the fossil fuel of the planet that we've already burned through, that it would be impossible for us to do it again. Now, of course, we're going to have to come up with some kind of alternative fuel, but the technology for that won't be available. We will be reliant upon older technology like fossil fuel. So let's, let's just think about how screwed we are and how screwed up this system is that they would rather try some crazy sci-fi unproven unfair verifiable theory than actually stop the system that is causing the problem itself thank you for watching if you like this program then please head over to my patreon page and set up a monthly donation it's your donations that keep this program running also if you would like please rate Comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.